Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. I start um, the start of a new week, two back-to-back -back Premier League wins. Next up, it's Bournemouth and Fulham, but we still need to talk about transfers. And there's around 16 days remaining in this month, plus maybe one day in September. So less than three weeks remaining to the end of the transfer window. We still know that we need to um, buy more players. How many players do you think we still need and how many players do you still think we are going to buy? I was thinking maybe two players plus another player on loan, but as much as as as, as we keep going on, I'm thinking maybe less than that. Maybe one player, then another one on loan. We never know. But let's talk about the latest transfer app list, the players who will be leaving and the players who might be joining us. Let's start with them. Let's start with the one who has asked to leave the team and that is Bellerin. Uh, we know Bellerin does not want to be here. He's not been in the team um, the two first two games of the season. According to reports, Hector Bellerin wants Arsenal to terminate his contract. He is keen to return to Real Betis while Barcelona are also monitoring his situation. Both clubs are prepared to wait until September 1st. Convinced Arsenal will allow him to leave as a free agent. So, um, according to reports, Bellerin wants his contract terminated. Remember, he talked about um, Arsenal not wanting to lose any more players on a free. We totally refused. Um, we totally um, disagreed in terms of um, letting Torreira go out um, on a free um, to any uh, any La Liga teams or any Serie A teams. We waited for Galatasaray to make a bid, and that's how Torreira ended up leaving. Uh, we got around six, seven million for him, which is good enough because he's not even really played for us for the last two years. And we don't, we don't want the same. We want the same for Bellerini. We don't want him to leave on a free. We've lost so many players on a free over the years. We've talked about it. I mean, Obama, and like all well, these guys, many good players that we've lost on a, lost on a free. Um, Bellerin is not in Arsenal's plans, yes, but still losing him on a free. And if we didn't really pay, him, uh, we didn't actually pay anything for him. You would understand if you lost him on a free, but he's still he's still not old yet, so he still has five to maybe even ten years if he stays fit to uh, for his career. So we can't really let him go on a free. But Bellerin wants Arsenal to cancel his contract so that he can go to Real Betis because Real Betis are not keen about paying that money. But for me, I agree that's all in that. Don't let him go if they don't want to pay the money. They have to pay the money. So they are waiting for September first, hoping that Arsenal will let him go on a free. But maybe Arsenal will not uh, budge at all. But then again, we let Leno go to Fulham for such a low price uh, because we didn't we didn't feel like he owed us anything. Maybe we feel the same about Bellerin. Maybe we feel like he doesn't owe us anything and we just let him go to back to Real Betis, his home country. Let, let us see. But I think he's definitely not going to be here. There's no reason of keeping a player once who doesn't want to be here. But let's see how that one pans out. Another player who's about to leave is Alex Ranason. I actually kind of feel bad for him because I remember many of you might not even remember seeing him play but he did play for us two seasons ago against um, Dundalk in the Europa League twice home and away and I think when Leno got a red card against um, Wolves he did come on in that game for the second half um, he basically came on he basically came to us though when um Martinez left Foston Villa, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think he came when um, Lis uh, no, Lisandro Martinez, definitely not. Um, Amy Martinez left for um, Aston Villa. So he was our second choice goalkeeper. So according to reports, Ronaldson is now in Turkey undergoing medicals and will sign his Alanyaspo contract. Um, so he's off to Turkey, just like um, Torreira. To be honest, one of the worst buys we've ever made. Like, remember William and all those guys? That is one of the worst transfers we ever had. That transfer window, that's the same transfer window you got William as well. That was a disaster. Let's be honest. That was a disastrous transfer window, man. Absolutely disaster over here. Um, Ranason, he, he, he's, he was already experienced. By the time we signed him, he was around 25 years of age. He was already playing for his um, country, Iceland. But the Premier League was too much of a step to him. He was struggling in Carabao Cup games, in Europa League games. So the one, two times we saw him in the Premier League, absolutely terrible as well. So all the best to him. Um, that's another player off the Arsenal uh, books. Uh, but which players will be joining us? That's what we want to know. Which players will be replacing them or which players will be joining the Arsenal books? Let's talk about Yuri Tillemans. According to reports, Leicester are willing to let Yuri Tillemans go for 25 million. Now it's dropped from 30 million to around 25 million, which is uh, even, even more even more affordable man um but would now be happy if he stayed another season and left for free next summer so they, they still talk about him um staying at least and leaving them for free next summer but next summer unless we've agreed already with him now everything so that next summer doesn't reach and then you hear real madrid one team or 
Tottenham want him or Chelsea want him and then Arsenal finish sixth on the table and then Tottenham and Chelsea finish in the top four. One of them wins the Premier League title or something crazy like that. And then Tillemans all of a sudden doesn't want to join Arsenal and he wants to go to those other teams. We don't want that to happen. But 25 million seems very, very affordable. Now, I, I do believe we don't uh, we need a mid midfielder rather than wingers. We are being into a lot of wingers. But look at the other day when we played against... Um, when he did play against uh, Leicester over the weekend, uh, when he played against Tillemans. You saw, we took off our right back, White, we brought in Tomias. We took off our left back, Zinchenko, we brought in Tini. No problems with those two positions. We took off Jesus, we brought in Ketia. Um, Smith Rowe is back. Um, Fabio Vieira will be back as well. But then you re quickly realize that he was not keen on taking out people like Xhaka and also Pate because the guys who were coming on, the game was kind of end-to-end. -end. I mean, it was... 3-2, it was 2-1 um, at some stage, so it was, you never know. Leicester could have been able to get an equalizer, so you wouldn't have risked bringing in, let's say, um, Lokonga for Xhaka or Lokonga for a uh, party. That shows you really need a midfield and he doesn't really trust the ones who are on the bench. Yes, in the Carabao Cup, they'll play. Yes, when you're leading 5-0, they'll come on. Yes, when you're playing in the Europa League first, first games, they'll probably start but in terms of the crucial premier league games and they're trying to get back to back wins do you really trust them that's the problem so we still really really need midfielders and hopefully tillimans is one of them but that's the latest on him it could go either way but they are, apparently they've dropped the price to 25 million which is even more affordable speaking of wingers um do we have a breakthrough in terms of uh, Jeremy Pino's um, deal, um, the Villarreal player? So according to reports, um, it is according to reports, Arsenal sporting director Edu has been spotted boarding a flight to Valencia amid suggestions that Gunners are ready to move for Jeremy Pino. So that is interesting. He's a 19-year-old. He plays um, right winger. He actually played over the weekend against uh, Valladolid. They won that game 2-0. Um, I didn't pick up the stats. and They were very good stats, but I didn't pick them up because he's not 100% signing him yet. But yeah, according to reports, Edu is in Spain right now. And um, could it be because of this deal? Could it be because we want Jeremy Pino to join Arsenal? Now, he's 19 years of age, turning 20 very soon. Uh, we stopped judging players who are young by there. Remember that? I, I know a lot of Arsenal fans are always like, 18-year-old, 17-year-old, why are we signing these guys? I mean, Martinelli, Saka, Smithrow. Remember all these guys? All these other guys, Ben White, Tranas, and all of them are below 24 years of age when you're signing them. So all very good players. Saliba is just 20 right now. Gabriel, less than 25. So all these players are young. And Jeremy Pino is one of them. I still stick to the point of uh, I still want us to get a midfield instead of a right winger. Because if you watch the game the other day, Martinelli looks very sharp. Um, Saka didn't have the best of the games, but we know on his day, he turned his uh, best player. Um, Smithrow is coming back. He plays on the left side mostly. He can play in the midfield as well. Fabio Vera is coming back. We have Marquinhos to call if we want him to, we want to upgrade him to the under 23s to the main team. Like There's a lot of options. We even have Nicolas Pepe. Don't forget about him. So adding a Jeremy Pino, it, uh, it means like maybe if you're going to get rid of players like um maybe Marquinhos on loan or get rid of Pepe but hey if he joins Arsenal I it's going to be around 25 to 30 million or something like that it could be more expensive it could be uh cheaper but let's wait and see but that's the latest on uh, Jeremy Pino so Tillemans Jeremy Pino is still looking at them Ranason Bellerin Ranason is gone Bellerin is um about to go as well we don't know the latest on Maitland Niles Pablo Mari could be going to Serie A very soon I'm pretty sure that deal will be done very soon and a lot of players who could, could still end up um, leaving Arsenal, uh, plenty of them. Pepe could be leaving. Nelson is now injured, by the way, so we kind of have to keep him in the team for the moment. So that's the latest transfer news. Let me know what you think. We still have less than um, maybe 17 days to go to the transfer window. Let's hope we get things done. We we, we are looking very, very good this season. Um, I'd say it's looking happy. Our players have adapted, especially Gabriel Jesus is looking very, very sharp. This is our chance. Let's add to what we have right now. Add another two players, and I'm, I have no doubt in my head that we're definitely going to get that top four, and maybe even something more. And uh, the comp cup competitions, like, as I always say, imagine even even, even if Gabriel Jesus is not there, you have Smithrow coming on, Fabio Vera coming on, you have Nicolas Pepe from the bench. If he turns up, you have players like Nketiah coming on. All of a sudden, you're looking good. Your second team has Tomiyasu, Tien, and all these guys. If you had Jeremy Pino there, and then you had Tillemans there. Xhaka was looking really good last last time. Um, if you add competition to that, 
things would look very good. So let me know what you think. Hopefully we do hear a breakthrough in the Tillyman's deal. That is the one guy that I really want. Thank you for watching. Keep staying safe. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.